My name is Norman Hilsman, and I'm a co-organizer of PodCamp Pittsburgh. I've been working on PodCamp since PodCamp Pittsburgh won. So PodCamp is a community on conference where uh, basically new media content creators in Pittsburgh get together to produce a conference for other people who are interested in learning about or creating content such as a blog or a podcast or social networking, new media. For, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an event where people can come together and learn from each other. I originally got into PodCamp because I didn't have a MySpace page when PodCamp Pittsburgh 1 happened, believe it or not. And I think I signed up for it either right before or, or during. And I realized that new media was happening and I wasn't connected and I, I didn't want to get left behind uh, in, in what was happening. So I, I personally just wanted to make sure I knew what was going on. And, uh, once I got connected to the PodCamp world, it was just such a great community of people who were doing a lot of really interesting work, uh, creating their own content, uh, a lot of hobbies, uh, some business at the time, and it's just grown and grown. Um, you know, and in that time, we've seen Facebook come become public, Twitter was was born uh, to, to the tools that we have today, which is you know the iPhone and all the mobile applications that we have, and and the ease of use. Uh, of all of the blogging tools and the podcasting tools that are available. Um, I'm just in it because it's such an exciting space. It's constantly growing, constantly new, and the people are amazing. So I think PodCamp Pittsburgh can be extremely useful to nonprofit organizations uh, or any organization uh, because you can come in, not spend any money, uh, have a couple of people learn about ways that they can promote their, their message, use Facebook to maybe a, a fuller advantage, or find out about what other tools are out there for communication and how to reach the people that they want to reach and, and keep their organization you know, kind of on the, on the forefront of, of modern web tools, modern web communication. Cool. I have two, there are two kinds of sessions that are really my favorite at PodCamp. And first is, is when a session has a goal to create a piece of content, whether it's uh, create a short 30 second, 60 second video, and it can be goofy and silly and because we're learning how to use uh, some, some of the iMovie or something. Uh, those are always really fun and, and very memorable for the people involved. And then I love the sessions that really can kind of drill down and, and talk about community and talk about an issue that is meaningful. And that, that happens so many times at PodCamp. I, my favorite sessions are, there isn't one session leader, I, because I think that the, the best sessions are the sessions that really where the, the the crowd can get involved, and the session leader isn't the expert. It's it's where you get on a topic where the crowd can, can the, the the community can get involved and really participate in a conversation, and that's where you, you find you learn the most and you and you have the most ideas kind of come and gel together because there isn't one one session leader who who's really driving it. I think a good session leader is someone who can take 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 a topic, take a conversation, and extend it to the PodCamp Pittsburgh community, and it really. That's what the embodiment of PodCamp really is. In PodCamp Pittsburgh 2, we had our bacon phenomenon. And this started as a hallway conversation with Jesse Ham Hambly and Andy Quayle and I think Tommy Vallier. And they were talking about email that, you know, your Facebook messages and your Barnes & Noble updates. It's, it's email that you, can't, that you want. It's not spam, but you don't really need to get it. And uh, so they came up with this term bacon. Uh, based on Canadian bacon, and, and I don't remember exactly the connection, but you can look it up on Wikipedia. It's spelled B-A-C-N, and uh, they registered a session uh, that same day at PodCamp, and there were about 30 people in the session talking about the problem of, of email that's not spam, but it's not you know personal messages, and so the term bacon was born, and it was branded, and I think a website was registered, and now Google's referencing the term, and it's on Wikipedia, so there you go. So I've attended PodCamp Philly, PodCamp Boston, and actually PodCamp DC, in addition to PodCamp Pittsburgh. And there, there is a difference. And in Pittsburgh, there's, there's a little bit, there's less of a focus on the business, the business-minded individual, especially in Washington when I was there, so close to Baltimore. There were a lot of folks there from Baltimore. And there were a lot of companies there who were very much focused on making money, you know, using po the podcasting as a tool to, to, to you know, Make them make themselves millionaires, or you have the marketing people who are using these tools. And and at that time, you know that, that I was there, not everything was defined. You know, how do you use Facebook? How do you use Twitter? So, 
at those podcasts, especially Boston, everyone was trying to figure out, well, where is this going? Where is where's online video going? And how is it going to relate to news media? And how, you know, there were a lot of un unanswered questions that still may be unanswered, but there was definitely a heavier focus towards business and, 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 and how is this really changing the world? Where at PodCamp Pittsburgh, I think it's a lot more friendly in the sense that there's a lot of hobby podcasts. There's a lot of just bloggers and people who are looking to make content, not necessarily because they're, it's, they have the next million dollar idea, but because it's, it's more of on a fun scale. So not, that's not to say that you know, each the, the, the East Coast podcast, pod camps and our podcast are unfriendly or not business minded. It's just the shift was, was definitely greater in each direction. You can find uh, information at podcamppittsburgh.com. If you're interested in volunteering, we have a volunteer page there. You can just submit your information and uh, you know, can learn more about where else to find PodCamp uh, on Twitter, Facebook, what hashtag we're using. We're using uh, PCPGH6 for this year's event. And uh, you, you can find out uh, all the information about this year's sessions. Uh, we have tons of content from PodCamp Pittsburgh 5, PodCamp Pittsburgh 4, video from every session from those previous two events, which is just fantastic. And plus we have blog posts going up daily. There's a lot of great information there uh, on podcamppittsburgh.com.